day 35 of hiking the Appalachian Trail in 100 days. Got uh, out to the start of the trail around 5.40 this morning and almost four miles in. Moving definitely slower than yesterday, but the uh, first like three, three and a half miles were definitely more elevation and more difficult terrain. Uh, but now we got a little downgrade descent. Uh, it's nice and flat and pretty smooth. So that's nice. Gonna try to go probably 27 miles today and basically be fully caught up with the schedule and probably hoping to take a shower this afternoon as well at a little like outdoor enclosed shower type thing um, just a few miles before the campsite on top of Shenandoah mountain here and uh, actually some decent views even though I don't think we're super high up and nice little USA flag painting here pretty neat do appreciate that going fairly well today definitely slower by a little bit than I would like but um, if I had to guess I would guess the first half of the day is harder terrain wise than the second just because I'm over 2,000 feet of elevation gain so far and I'm only supposed to have about 5,000 today and uh, only like well, less than a third of the way through the miles so um, I think the uh, elevation and difficult terrain is probably a little bit front loaded so hopefully we'll be able to cruise uh, in the second half of the day. So just after noon today, moving in pretty well. The uh, terrain has been interesting today. There's some just like super flat smooth spots for a little bit, kind of like this. And then there'll be some grassy spots. Um, but a lot of those grassy spots have rocks kind of hidden underneath, so those can be tricky. But then there's some big rocky sections, uh, both inclines and declines and just flats. So definitely a variety of terrain here. It is very hot out today. I just feel like I'm baking out here and definitely trying to drink more water. I think I definitely did a better job with that yesterday and it helped me uh, be quicker and just stronger in general. So trying to do that again today. Less than just under six miles to go to that place off trail with a shower and then there's only three or four miles to the campsite after that but I'll probably be at the shower place at least an hour. So just took a shower in this outdoor shower um, in a little area that I think is owned by some like fryers of some sort uh, they have like some they have a baseball field a soccer field and at the baseball field they allow hikers to camp and there's a, a shower and a little pavilion like an outdoor shower so it wasn't anything super awesome but it did feel awesome um, but it wasn't like a super real shower but still the first shower I've had in almost two weeks at this point so um it was helpful and felt good and just heading back to the trail now and then once i get to back to the trail i have less than a mile to this little cafe place that's like right along the trail so i'm probably gonna stop there as well because it's only three o'clock right now 
and I only have a few miles left for the day. So I'm gonna stop there and have some of my snacks and maybe buy some ice cream as well. Just about a mile left to the campsite for tonight. Should get there right after five o'clock. I did stop at that Appalachian Trail Market and uh, hung out there for actually about an hour, which was longer than I was expecting, but that's fine. I charged some of my battery and then ate some of my own snacks and then spent too much money there buying other food. Uh, but they had this, they have breakfast all day and they had this thing called the McRicky, which I don't know why it's called that, but it was two pancakes, like a pancake sandwich. So two pancakes as the bread, I guess. And in the middle was sausage bacon and a bunch of scrambled eggs with cheese. So I saw that and I was like, man, that sounds really good. So I got that and then I also got ice cream, of course, a pint of ice cream. So I feel like I'm spending too much money on this food because I'm kind of cheap and don't like spending that much money on food. And food is definitely more expensive at these small little places. And when you buy like a pint of ice cream, it's more expensive. And usually they don't have like the generic brands like they just had at this one, just Ben and Jerry's and Haagen Dazs. So it's like seven or eight bucks for a pint, which is kind of ridiculous, but I guess they get suckers like me to buy it. So not in the tent yet for the night as it's pretty warm out and just don't want to be in there with the rain fly on. Um, right now I still have the rain fly off just so it can stay as cool as possible and maybe dry out some of the my sleeping bag because it gets uh, just sweaty during the night, honestly. Um, but today was a pretty good day. Talked to a fair amount of nobos at the Appalachian Cafe there and um, some of them, this one guy, Spark, he was pretty excited to see me a Sobo and um, seemed pretty excited about my pace or thought my pace and speed was pretty good so he was a pretty cool guy the terrain today honestly seemed harder than the past few days but i still maintained a pretty good speed um just below three miles an hour i think around 2.8 or 2.9 so um, i'll take that any day for sure tomorrow i do have a resupply at the post office i thought it was like six miles to the post office in the morning and they open at 8, but looking at the uh, maps, it's like less than 2 miles to the road to the post office uh, on the trail. And then like maybe a mile or two to the actual post office from there. So I'm definitely going to be there before 8. And then after I get my package, I only have like a mile after that. And then I get to the zoo and the zoo doesn't open till 10 a.m. Um, there is a side trail that goes around the zoo but I kind of want to do like the official AT and um, the lowest point on the AT also is like through the zoo. So I kind of want to go through there um, just because that'd be cool. And I want to kind of do the official route. So I'll probably just wait around till 10 a.m. I only have 18 or 19 miles today, so, or tomorrow. So, you know, I should be fine waiting around till 10 a.m. there and then doing like 15 or 16 more miles. Um, but there's also this uh, park along the way with like a lake and beach. And so I kind of want to hang out there some, but if I wait around at the zoo, I might not have as much time to do that. So we'll see, um, play it by ear and see how it goes tomorrow. Today was also pretty hot and I definitely did a better job again of staying more hydrated, drinking more water. But there was also some uh, fairly decent breezes a lot of the time, so I think that definitely helped as well. Um, I did take the shower this afternoon, which felt absolutely great, but I definitely got hot and sweaty again the last like few miles of hiking. Um, but I am probably cleaner for sure than I was before the shower.